Good morning, babes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Saturday morning. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday, October the 7th. It is 9 a.m. It literally just hit 9 o'clock in the morning. You guys, I am so happy. So, 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 so happy. I cannot be more happy that finals are over, you guys. I have been telling you all week since Vlogtober started at the beginning of the week that it was finals week for me and finals are over. I took my, well, I submitted my very last finals project yesterday. Yesterday, which is why your girl has, let me grab my skincare, which is why I have fallen behind, I think two days. I know we started a day late with Vlogtober. I did not post on Sunday. Sunday was the first. So I know we started a day late. Nothing new. Same skincare you guys have seen on my channel multiple times. The Ordinary Moisturizer Black Girl Sunscreen SPF for all of my new viewers. And today I ran out of my serum. I actually need to get some more today. We are going to have a really, really, we are having a really, really fun day. Today is going to be super fun. And then just a little bit, small drop, um, couple drops of the bio oil. You do not need too much of this. Absolutely goes a really long, a little bit goes a long way. But yeah, so we didn't start on Sunday. I think my first video posted Monday or Tuesday of this week. Anyway, so we were already a day behind from that. And then finals, I have just been on it this week with finals. I told you guys I had three essays to write. I had a final exam to take with um, 50 objective questions. I had a whole big, huge final project to complete and submit. It has just been a week. It has definitely been a week. Got through it. Praise God, finals week is over and we are celebrating today. I am celebrating, we are getting ready to go out and just have, why can I not open this? We are getting ready to just go out and have a super fun day. We're gonna do some light shopping, nothing too heavy. Nothing too heavy, but I definitely want to pick up a couple things. I know for one, I need some more of my Youth to the People cleanser. We love the Youth to the People facial cleanser it is just such a very very mild cleanser and mild but effective it works really well if you are familiar with you to the youth to the people their their kale and what is it green tea spinach that cleanser sis if you know what i'm talking about then you already know how good that cleanser is anyway so we ran out of that last week the week before it may have even been two weeks at this point so we are going to hit up Sephora. I hate that we have to drive an hour away. Our closest Sephora is an hour away, an hour away. I'm extremely grateful that, I mean, we even have one in this whole state to begin with, but we don't, we have to drive an hour away. The closest Sephora is an hour from us. So we are going to just take a nice little Saturday drive. It's a beautiful day. I don't even know what the weather is today. It looks really, really pretty out there. Let's look really quickly and see what the weather is today, actually. But we're just going to take a drive and make a nice celebratory day of... We're just going to make a nice celebratory day of CC Finals being over. Fall Session A 2023 is done in the books, and we are now moving on. Like I said, I only have a week break. Literally, Fall Session B starts on the 11th, which is next week. I am going to take this time to really, really relax chill reset get myself together get my mind right my body my spirit my soul everything and prepare for next week but today we are going to have a really really fun day let me let me pull up the weather okay so right now it says 68 feels like 68 out there let's do an hourly i'm in a really good mood this morning if you guys cannot already tell through your screen i am in a really really good mood this morning as you should be every single morning we wake up the moment we open our eyes and we are in good health, physical health, mental health, spiritual, emotional, social, financial, all of it, we should be just spitting out gratefuls, spitting out gratefuls and thankfuls because sis, it definitely could have been the other way. All right, so like I said, it just hit nine o'clock in the morning. So right now, 68, 10 o'clock, we're hitting the 70s, 11 o'clock, 72. Looks like that's going to be the highest for today, 72. Clear day, thank God. No rain, no clouds, no gloom, just pure sunshine. So high 72 for today. And we are getting an early start to our day. So that is perfect. Deciding on what I want to wear for today. Let me tell you guys what we're doing today really quickly. So I know we're going to the mall. Like I said, we're getting ready to head to the mall. First, we want to head, probably stop and have breakfast or just grab breakfast. 
on the road since it is an hour drive um, for us where we're going. So we'll probably just grab something to eat. I'm not really sure what, I don't know what I feel like. I kind of wanted to go sit down and have breakfast breakfast this morning, but we may do that tomorrow. I know I'm looking forward to my 72. You guys know I'm off Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, every week, three day weekends. I look forward to my 72 hours. So we may just go have like Sunday brunch tomorrow. So maybe we'll just grab food and hop straight on the road and head to the mall. I don't really know what we'll eat, but I'm taking you guys along with me. So who knows, you guys will see. I'm pretty sure I'll show you what we end up getting and then we're gonna go to the mall and probably be out there for a little bit because there are so many good stores in the mall that we're going to and even shopping centers like around the mall that we may hit like a few or few here and there like I said we're not doing any heavy duty shopping today just having a great day really like I said celebratory <laughs> that I made it through fall session A and finals week so I know I want to hit Victoria's Secret I saw one of my babes post on Instagram was it yesterday don't forget to hit Victoria's Secret, what is it, 10 for 35 or 10 for 38? They're having their panties sale, I guess, this weekend. I wasn't even aware. I don't even think I got the email. Am I even still signed up for their emails? I definitely should be. But I'm glad she posted because I need to restock. I like to just kind of swap out, switch out certain panties that I've had for a lot longer than others and replenish and restock new panties every mm, four, five, six months max. So definitely doing that today. And your girl still has a gift card. Let me move you guys over here because I need to pick out my outfit while we are talking. Okay, so I need to pick out, I still have a gift card. Your girl still has a Victoria's Secret Pink gift card from Christmas last year. That is one thing about me. I do not hop on as soon as I receive, <coughs> oh, excuse me, as soon as I receive gift cards for any holiday, I don't care if it's Christmas, my birthday, Valentine's Day, anniversaries, anything whatever the case may be i do not i'm not one to just like hop on blowing through the gift card right then and there like i hold gift cards until i really you know want or need something see something that i want or need so i still have gift cards from christmas 2022 you guys christmas is literally in two months so i'm going to pull that bad boy out we are going to hit victoria's secret today and hit that 10 for 35 or 38. I still have gift cards to, I think, um, Barnes & Noble, Target, Bath & Body Works. The one where you can use it like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Home Goods, I think PacSun. I don't know. Many haul time. Just wanted to show you guys this specific package. I do have more other Zara packages that have come. I do have other Zara packages that I'm going to be hauling for you guys and things that I bought from Zara way back over the summer when we were traveling that I still have not hauled for you guys. They're still in bags. Like I haven't even taken them out of the bags and put them up or away or anything yet. But I specifically want to show you guys this package that just came. Was it earlier this week? I think because I'm getting ready to put it on. So let's go ahead and do a nice little Zara unboxing. I saw these on Zara's website. I think last week. I love Zara shipping. Their shipping is top tier. Literally, if I order something on like Wednesday, it's being delivered, if not Saturday, definitely by Monday. Like their shipping is everything, A1. I love it so much, it's really, really super fast. So I saw these platform, trying to not have them fall, come spilling out of the box here. These platform sneakers, I fell in love with them. They had them in like a khaki oatmeal color, but I already have, if you guys don't remember, I showed you, I may have already archived that video though because it was earlier this summer and you guys know we're starting all over with the channel but they kind of remind me of my pumas that i bought from back in the spring their platform sneakers too i'll show you guys really quickly but these are my shoes from zara they are so super cute i am i don't know for some reason i guess i have gotten back into the chunky platform sneaker i love them so much i've already tried them on i don't know if they have memory foam in the insoles or not but they are very 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 comfortable so i just went with black because like i said i do have the pumas let me gosh let me show you guys my pumas really quick like i said i did show these back in the beginning of summer i bought these in may this box is tore to pieces they didn't have them in store i had to order them they shipped them to my house but i fell in love i think i got, I got these from journeys yep when we went to the outlet journeys outlet i fell in love with this shoe they didn't have my size in store so like i said i just ordered them and they shipped into me this box is beat down but reminds me of these and i haven't even worn these yet they've literally been sitting in my closet since may here we are mid-october but 
so that's why I went with the black pair so we are getting ready to put these on today um, I just have on some black shorts I'll do a quick OOTD for you guys I'm gonna throw on my Rolling Stones graphic crew neck and either my Bass Pro cap or I may just put on a head wrap and claw clip the back of my hair up because I don't want to be too too hot I'm not gonna have a t-shirt on under my crew neck if I do get hot later on I definitely want my hair off my neck but anyway just wanted to come on really quickly and show you guys if you are interested I did catch them on sale so I'm not sure if they still have them but here is here's the item number if you guys want a screenshot as you can see they were originally 49 I got them for 27 all right babes quick ootd of the day so i changed my mind on the crew neck it's a little bit warmer out there like i'm already warm just getting dressed and we're still in the house but i decided not to throw on my rolling stones crew neck because like i said we're going to the mall i'm sure we're going to be walking around shopping and doing all of that and i do not want to be in there sweating and hot and i can't take it off because i don't have anything under here except for my um tank top my undershirt so i swapped out i put on this this graphic tee is from paxson shorts i think i got these from target or either tj maxx i have had these shorts forever they're just some regular black sweat shorts nothing special and then i just showed you guys but i have on my new zara platform sneakers i think they are so ridiculously cute i love them so much I had to swap out my socks. I had on some ankle socks. I don't even know why I thought that was going to be okay. And I just threw on some no-shows anyway. So I love them so much. This is the fit. And then I just threw on my Bass Pro Shops Dad Trucker Cap and my new Madison Avenue glasses. I have my bracelets that I typically wear, my Pandora, my inspirational scriptures. Silver hoops are from H&M. You guys know I always wear my vertical bar necklace and then on this arm I just have all of my Alex Anani's and then my He Is Risen bracelet and my DV Domestic Violence bracelet. So that is the OOTD of the day. I am hungry so we are going to get food and let's get ready to head out.
Okay, so I just realized I actually just finished editing the video. The video is getting ready to post. I was getting ready to, I finished all my final edits. I was getting ready to start working on my thumbnail so that I could post it for you guys. This is going to be days seven, eight, nine. Day seven, eight, nine. And I realized that I never even hauled everything that we got from the mall that weekend. So this is editing CC, future editing CC coming to you guys with the mall haul. I'm not going to haul everything. Like I told you guys, I have so much stuff to haul for you. I am just going to continue spreading everything out through Vlogtober. We still have the second half of the month to get through. So I'm just going to haul the stores that you saw. I'm just going to haul the stores that I vlogged in. You guys saw Victoria's Secret Pink, you saw Pandora, and you saw Sephora. So that is what I'm getting ready to show you, everything that I got. We did do some shopping at H&M, at Macy's, at, where else did we go? Altered State, I did do some shopping at Altered State. A couple other stores, I don't even remember. It was a really, really good weekend. We had a lot of fun. But the, all of those will be in a separate vlog. I'm, right now, I'm getting ready to haul Victoria's Secret Pink, Sephora, and Pandora. I still have so much Zara to haul for you guys. Lululemon, I think we already did Glossier. Like I said, we will continue to get through everything as we proceed through Vlogtober. Let's start with Pink. I think that was the first store that you guys saw in this vlog. So here's our pink bag. And you guys saw me smelling a couple of their body care items. I guess the packaging, the, uh, apparently they have new packaging because it looks like it's pretty much, looks like it is probably the same that I used to have. Let me show you guys the old bottle. Okay, so this is the original. Well, the one that I've had for the past couple years. This is the packaging that I've been picking up for the past couple years from them. This is the, I've showed you guys this one before, the Honey Cranberry, Cranberry and Honey Extract Glow Boosting Body Oil from Pink. This is the, this is the original bottle and I believe I picked this up Black Friday, year before last, so 2021. And I've always picked up like the coconut oil, the honey, I don't know. You guys, I'm pretty sure know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is the original bottle. So when I saw the new guys, I wasn't sure if it was same formula, new packaging, or what. Anywho, I don't remember what the promo was that day. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the signage as I was vlogging. I always try to make sure that I include signage in my vlogs so you guys can see whatever store promos may be going on at that time. I feel like they were three for 18 let me see if it's on my receipt excuse me i feel like they were three for 18 two for 18 or three for 18 i think two for 18 yep because i have four no i have three i don't know whatever the signage was that you guys just saw in the beginning of the shopping segment of today's video then that's what it was so <laughs> i went ahead and picked up the conditioning body oil Okay, so I went ahead and picked up the coconut conditioning body oil. This is what the new packaging looks like. And then I also picked up the, and then I also picked up the hair and body mist with that same packaging. I love the font. The fonts are super cute on these bottles. And both of these are the eight fluent ounce. I believe the original, oh, they don't even have the original price on these without the promo. So we picked up both of those. And then I also, I was trying to hit 75. I think you had to spend $75 my personal space heater on because I got a little bit cold, but now it is blazing in here so let's cut that off i believe the promo was you had to spend 75 dollars to get a free i'll show you what i got free at the end but i was trying to hit 75 i wasn't there yet i think i landed at maybe 60 bucks with just the panties and the two with the hair and body mist and the conditioning body oil so I'm like, okay, what else do you have in the store for around 15 bucks? They said the sprays, the fragrance mist were 12 that day. I don't know if they're always 12, but they were 12 that day. So I asked the cashier that, I just asked the cashier what her favorite was and she told me bombshell seduction. And then I smelled the bare rose at some point while we were in the store shop hitting the panty sale. And I knew that I definitely wanted to pick that one up. So I got bare rose and the fine fragrance mist and then bombshell seduction. And I believe 
So there is Bare Rose and Bombshell Seduction and these are both 12 each and it put me right at 75 where I wanted to be. So I hit 75 bucks so I was able to get my freebie. Let me show you my panties really quickly and then I will show you guys what I got for free. Now some people don't care, some people do care. I personally don't. I have been showing my Victoria's Secret panties and bras, whatever I pick up. It does not bother me so if it does bother you, just fast forward through this little portion right here. But I know some people, I've noticed on other vloggers, YouTube videos, some people do comment, or the vloggers may even mention in their videos that some people have a problem with it. I personally don't. I remember in like, what, January, February of 2021, I did a huge five, $600 dollar Victoria's Secret shopping spree haul and I had like, $600 worth of Victoria's Secret pink and there was a huge a, a huge portion of that haul were bras and panties and I showed everything it does not bother me so if it does bother you again just fast forward if it doesn't here we go I like to show everything I know I like to see everything when I'm watching other vloggers hauls and showing things that they pick up when they go shopping things like that so I show everything now at Victoria's Secret my favorite 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 all-time favorite I'm so glad that whoever that sales associate was that particular day years ago that first told me about the what are they called the no-shows i don't think they're called the no-shows they're either called the no-shows or the let me look on the receipt they're something like that they it feels like you basically have absolutely nothing on these panties feel like you have absolutely nothing on i am so glad that she told me about them because i never no show i think yep that's what they're called the no-shows I had never heard of them before. I was not familiar. And when she told me about it that day in the store, that's all I try to pick up. Mostly those when VS does have their panty sale and I am picking up new panties. They feel so amazing. They absolutely definitely feel like you have nothing on. So the promo was, I think I got 10, was it eight? I don't know, we'll see here in a minute. And I was trying to pick up fall colors since it is fall. I tried my best to gravitate towards lean towards fall colors they had three or four different tables set up for the panty promo when we the the entrance because there were two or three no two separate entrances for that particular store in that mall that we went to so the entrance that we went into there was already a table on that side of the store set up so I hit that that was the first table that you guys saw in the video I hit that one first and then there was another table set up in the center of the store I hit that one second. That was the second table that you guys saw me hit. I didn't even see that it, there was a third table all the way on the other side of the store because it was on the other side of the register. We had already checked out. The line was super long. I swear we probably stood in line for like 20 minutes before I got to the register, checked out. I was ready to go to other stores. That was like the first store I believe that we stopped in and actually shopped. So I was ready to go. As we were leaving out, I turned and I saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh, there was a whole nother table. And I was upset because I was struggling to find styles that I liked, colors that I liked, my size. You could tell that the tables had been picked through. So, and it really didn't seem like there were too many people over there. Probably could have found a lot more, but I'm happy with what I got. Extremely grateful and thankful with what I got. So let me show you. So first up, I have Cheekies. These are a very beautiful, deep kind of maroon wine color. I love the Cheekies. Now these used to be my favorite. This style used to be my absolute favorite style. This was the only style of panty that I would buy from VS were the, um, the Cheekies. I love these um, with the lace around the top, with the lace around the entire perimeter. Beautiful, beautiful, deep wine kind of plum color love that especially for this time of year and then more sticking with the cheekies department i got this pretty kind of i don't know the color is coming off a little bit different on camera but it's kind of like this um cerulean blue color it's really pretty kind of i guess falls in the family with like teal and turquoise but a darker deeper blue and it has that pretty pretty ribbed pattern love that super soft so i picked that pair up more cheekies i really liked this one it is the gray and white striped and then it has the very very light you know the barbie pink vs print all throughout super cute as soon as i saw those i threw them in my bag and then I believe these are hipsters, not the cheekies. You see it has more of a brief kind of backing, a full backing. So just this pretty heather gray with the lace right there at the top. And then I did pick up a couple pair of boy shorts. Now I haven't 
purchased boy shorts in years i used to love boy shorts in like high school and college um first time around in college after high school but i have not bought boy shorts in years not that i'm not a fan but i guess i just gravitate towards like i said the cheekies and the no-shows but i couldn't find a lot of colors like i said in patterns that i really liked in my size so i did pick up a pair a couple of boy shorts again barbie pink i love the victoria's secret band at the top of this and then she has the black polka dots with vs with vs all over it super cute and then here comes let me do all of the boy shorts first i just picked up a solid heather gray in the boy short again with the vs victoria's secret and at the top this one is a pretty kind of periwinkle blue and then it has the vs band at the top with the white font and then you can never ever ever have a too many pair black pair of panties so i just picked up a back a black pair and the boy shorts and then that was all for the boy shorts and i was only able to find without hitting that third table i was only able to find two of the no shows so here's a really really pretty kind of like um i don't know melon or kind of like a salmon color really really pretty these are the no shows i swear if you guys have these and you already know what I'm talking about, if you have never tried no shows from Victoria's Secret, oh my gosh, the best, the, 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 the best. I cannot rave about these enough. Anyway, picked up this color here, this salmon color, and then a lighter color. This is kind of like a, a champagne color. Really, really pretty. Just a natural nude color in the no shows. So how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten so it was ten ten for 35 or 38 i don't even know what the promo was but those were my pickups for the panty sale and then like i said you did have to you did have to hit 75 and you got a free victoria's secret pink dog when i first walked in the store i haven't even opened open this let's open it together when i first walked in the store they had these dogs all over the store i'm like what is going on with all of the dogs today oh so, and behold i found out it was a promo everybody at the register like everybody in line was doing the exact same thing that i was doing trying to hit 75 so that they could get this free dog which i don't even know why i wanted it so bad because you guys know i'm anti-halloween but he is super cute and i have seen people that have collections of these little pink dogs in their vlogs and content so i don't know we may start a new vs pink dog collection just collecting these dogs because i know they have them often like throughout the years with different promos that they do have so here's our first one vlogtober you guys remember this day mark this day document it because vlogtober 2023 is when cc started her Victoria's Secret pink doll collection. Okay, so from Pandora, all of the charms are already on my bracelet. I don't know, I feel like I have shared this with you guys, but I had a Pandora bracelet that I started back in 2016, 2017. It was so full. I had so many charms on that bracelet. I invested so much money into that bracelet. In the move, we moved from Charlotte, North Carolina. I still feel like that bracelet could be in my parents house somewhere i have hope i have hope but i have not been able to find my, find my bracelet in years we left charlotte we moved from charlotte in 2019 it is now 2023 i cannot find my bracelet so much money invested short story long i bought a new bracelet this year back in the spring april i want to say yep april we were traveling we were out of town and we went to the mall and i said you know what i'm just going to start a new bracelet because i cannot find my bracelet so i purchased the bracelet and two charms that day back in april and then when we went to the mall last weekend i got two well three actually new charms and let me show you what i got in celebration of getting through fall session a and my finals i got this no this is not that is one of the older ones okay here we go i got this beautiful lock and key there is the lock and right next to it i had the sales associate help me put them on because i can never get these things off and on my bracelets and then here is the key and this key actually unlocks the lock i thought that was so super cute and then if you guys do not know now you do because my number one hands down without a doubt no questions asked favorite disney princess is the little mermaid ariel it has been since i was a little 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 girl probably like eight or nine years old and she still is now at this age of mine which we will not be revealing today <laughs> 
but I picked up Ariel. Um, I love that beautiful teal turquoise color that they have for her fin. Super cute. And when I saw that she came out when Pandora created her, I don't know, I feel like it was sometime this summer. I've been wanting her ever since. So I said, what better way than to reward myself? So those are my new charms in case you guys missed, in case you guys did not get an opportunity to see my previous vlogs from earlier this year before I archived all of them. The first two charms that I added to this bracelet is this, is this super pretty heart right here with all of the bling that outlines it. And then where is it? Move these around. And then I also picked up this camera, which I found out is actually Marvel. I believe it's from Spider-Man, but I did not care because of course it symbolizes that I am a YouTuber. So I picked up that camera and that was my second charm that I added to this bracelet. Does it say Spider-Man? Oh, it says Marvel on the bottom. So those are my current charms. I've decided that I will be adding more new charms to my bracelet um, at, at the end of every semester. As long as I have a successful semester and my grades are where I want them to be, my GPA is where I want it to be, I will be rewarding myself. That is my motivation, my encouragement to me to keep pushing. Um, is to buy myself new charms, continue to fill my bracelet, and then whatever other shopping I want to do. Here's the big boy. This is what so many people have been waiting for. Um, we dropped a very hefty, very, very, very hefty bag at Sephora. Yeah, let's just dive right in. Let's just dive right in. No particular order. You guys know I never go in any particular order. Um, you to the people. I told you guys that I tried out this face wash earlier this summer when we were out of town shopping. I picked up the smaller bottle, the little guy, three ounces or whatever it is. Loved it so much. This is a very gentle, extremely gentle and powerful though very effective face wash so i went ahead and got the big boy eight fluid ounces this is 39 bucks i did not even know i had no idea how much the face wash even cost there was no signage in sephora i just already knew that i wanted it so in the in the basket she went and and straight to checkout so i have the big guy now this will be going this will head into the shower as soon tonight as soon as i'm finished filming and editing this video to get it up for you guys. You to the people, kale and green tea, spinach vitamins, super food and cleanser face wash. Pick that up. Also picked up the Laneige. I've been seeing this in like TJ Maxx and Marshalls for a little bit less, but it's okay. Um, I wanted to get it that particular day because I, lately I've been seeing, I guess it's a sign from God. Lately I have been seeing people talk about this in their vlogs. The water sleeping mask. This is the 2.3 fluid ounce. I don't remember how much this was. Um, but if you guys Google it or go to the Sephora website, you can see how much I have. I had my receipt here so that I could actually share prices with you guys. But like I said, Sephora website, it definitely listed there for you guys. This is what it looks like. And let's see what she smells like. It still has the protection, the protective film. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like ponds or something really soft. So we are going to work this into our nighttime skincare routine. Definitely going to keep you guys posted. I have not heard anything. I watch a lot of beauty vloggers and I have not heard anything negative about that Laneige sleeping mask. So I'm really excited to try that out. And I'm going to keep you guys posted on all of this. I don't want this haul to be too long because like I said, I am adding it to the vlog. So I picked up a topicals. I'm sure you guys have heard about this one. Um, I've heard about it most over on TikTok. It's the faded topicals brightening and clearing serum. I don't personally have a whole lot of hyperpigmentation and dark circles. That's not the focus for my skin, but bestie wanted to try it out. It says vegan, no synthetic dyes, skincare for you, spotty hotties. This is what it looks like, the topicals, and I wanna say this was maybe like 18 bucks or something like that. We are going to scurry along because my battery is getting ready to start blinking at me. From topicals, I also picked up their brightening and clearing eye mask. You get six in here. Excited to try these out. I recently saw someone in their vlog. She raved about these, said she has been using them for quite a while and absolutely loves them. So I am going to, I'm still planning on doing a, like a nighttime routine, spa night, girls night, self care night, something or another with you guys. I'm not sure if that's going to be this month in Vlogtober or 
perhaps next month we will cross that bridge when we get there sunday riley sunday riley sunday riley is not a cheap brand at all if you know you know <laughs> this is the sunday riley the sunday riley ceo after glow i went with the little guy so this is like the little and you know when you're approaching the cash wrap how they have all of the little minis that always get you all of those impulse buys this is the what is it the brightening vitamin c cream heard nothing 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 but good things about this if i hear a lot of people rave about something and don't really hear anything negative nine times out of ten i will pick it up and try it out for myself so i went ahead and tossed her in the basket as i was making my way through the line to get up to check out um summer fridays summer fridays is definitely summer fridays summer fridays is definitely not new to the scene i just have not tried her out yet you guys know i well you will see that i have purchased a lot of lip moisturization in 2023 for sure you guys know we just started using the glossier bomb.com i showed that to you guys earlier well i finally picked up summer fridays i've been hearing people rave about this for years again whenever i get around to when i feel like i want to try something that is when i will do that i picked up which one is this i know this is like one of the most popular one of the more popular oh vanilla beige so i haven't tried her yet i'm going to try her out with you guys and let you know what i think after this one i do hear people talk about what is it called like the pink crush pink something i'm gonna try that one out and a new one just released was it last month i think it was september mint chocolate or mint something it's a really really light kind of sea foam robin's egg green color i've seen it on tiktok i've gone on the website and added it to cart so i'm pretty sure i will be purchasing her very very soon but i did want to go with vanilla beige i think this is perfect for fall an amazing fall shade neutral We'll go with anything. I love that. I love a new, a neutral lip, a nude lip. I love a nude lip. And then I saw my girl rave about this in her vlog a couple weeks ago. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Say or Sai? Say E S A I E S A I E is the brand. When I wrote it down, I always have a notepad open when I'm watching beauty vloggers so that I can know exactly what I'm looking for, what I want to try out when I head to the stores. And I wrote S A I C. It's definitely S A I E. Um, this is the Glossy Bounce Hydrating Lip Oil. And I have it in the shade. I got it in the shade Dip. I don't even know if you guys can see that. I don't even know if you guys saw that. But Dip, D-I-P. Again, with the nude, very natural nude lip. I think that is going to be so pretty. I did test it out in store. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. She raved about the formula of this one. Very creamy, smooth. Did not, does not give you that white accumulation around the lips that I hate. I despise that so much. When you are wearing any type of like lip gloss or lip balm or any type of moisturization to your lip. She said it does not do that in the formula is just phenomenal so i'm excited to try her out there was another one that i wanted to try but they didn't have it they were out of it that day when we went i feel like it's called bounce they didn't have bounce so i went with dip and i will definitely keep a you guys post it we picked up some more of the soul de janeiro adding to our collection um i already have 71 62 68 and 40 which i totally forgot about because we bought another 40 i am trying to debate whether or not i want to keep this one or swap it out for another one i really want after dark i really 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 want after dark i should have picked it up this summer when it first launched i did not so now we're suffering with trying to find it because not in stores, sold out online. I'm on there, email me when back in stock, notification chain, but who knows when or if that will ever happen. Anyway, so I now have two of the 40s. If you're not familiar with Sol de Janeiro, I know so many people are, it's their Brazilian Crush um, Perfume Mist. And 40 is Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. Oh my God, smells incredible. And then I also picked up 68. Oh, I had a 68. Oh my gosh, I got two of the same thing. Oh, that one is empty. This was a replenishment. That 68 is empty. 68 is definitely one of my favorite Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit she is one of my favorites that's why i picked her up i remember now because i'm looking at that empty bottle up there i didn't want to throw it away until i got a replenishment so i picked that up and then so i picked her up and that is everything that i got from sephora that day actually just went to sephora again yesterday but you guys will see that in another vlog i will add that um probably either later this week or maybe next week like i said we still have two weeks left of vlogtober to get through okay i do not want this portion of the video to be too long again i just wanted to haul everything because you saw us go to the mall you saw us do shopping so i at least wanted to haul everything that i wore that you saw me vlogging in and we'll do h m and macy's and everybody else another day thank you guys so much for watching i hope you are enjoying vlogtober 
I did want to post every single day this week, but my work and my school and my personal life and family and friends and time with the Lord is very sacred to me. So we just have to get in where we fit in. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I would love to have you over here with my babes and I. We have a lot of fun. So tap that subscribe button and make sure you smash the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know each and every time that I post. Let me go ahead and get back to editing and get this thumbnail created so I can get this one up for you guys and go ahead and editing the next. Like I said, I'm editing a three, not one, not two, but three videos for you guys right now. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, babe.